Hey guys and welcome back to Murray Crab Fishing. It is cold and I am sitting on the floor in front of the fire. This is a little bit abnormal except what I'm doing is preparing my reel for the fishing trip with Rowan from RKJ Fishing this weekend. Last time I went out, oh it's actually too hot. Oh, let's move up like that. Last time I went out trout fishing, I ended up with a bit of line lay. It's laying heavy to the top of the spool. I ended up with line lay over the top and outside the spool, which resulted in wind knots and a few upsets and things like that. Now, to solve uneven line lay on a spin reel is quite easy. And if you've bought a decent reel of any description, it will come with the things you need. So what I'm going to do now is show you what you need to adjust your reel. Firstly, I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. If you have a look here, you'll see, you should be able to see, that at the top of the spool, the line is heavier. So what it does is it tapers from the bottom. There's less line at the bottom, more line at the top. Line actually lays on this angle, as you can see. So it's not straight up and down. If you see with my finger, it's when my finger lines up with the line and then you look at the reel, it's on an angle. It's much heavier up here than it is down here. Now to fix this issue, it's really, really simple. So let's jump into the box, see what's come with the reel, and then have a look at how to apply that to fix this problem. This reel is a Daiwa Saltus 2000. And when you open this up, you got all the goodies that came with the reel. And this right here is what we're looking for. These are called shims, shim washers, spacing washers, spacers, and they're actually, there's not a lot to them, but you can see they're this random shape. Now these simple things actually adjust the spool height on the reel. So let's have a look at how to do that. For starters, we're gonna open the bale so we can access the spool easily. We're going to loosen the drag. So undo the drag nut on top. Keep undoing, keep undoing, keep undoing. Bit more, bit more. There we go. Till the drag nut comes off. And then sit that aside. Now your spool should just lift off. Like that. Simple, simple, simple. Right where my finger is. It's a bit of grease, but obviously the reel's greased. There is already two shim washers right there. They are already in there and that is what that rim inside your spool sits on. So that determines the height. So what I need to do is increase that because my line's sitting high, I need to move my spool up, which means I need to add more shims in. If your line is sitting low on your spool, which means your spool's already too high, you need to take shim washers out and move it down. Clearly mine's sitting too high, which means I need to move it up so that the line is placed evenly on the spool. I get a shim out, seal that up, and put it back in the box. And it's really, really simple. You literally place it over the top, and then you'll see it's really, really tight on this bearing here. Squeeze it over the bearing until it seats down tight at the bottom. That is quite literally it. If you're taking one out, you'll need like um, a really fine screwdriver or a knife to put in under the washer and pull it out. But that's literally it. Push it down firm, right down. You're probably better off using a small screwdriver or something, but... I work in maintenance and I do this sort of crap all the time. So my nails are used to being punished. Push that down. And then it's a matter of replacing your spool back on like that. Lining up so it goes through. Replacing the drag nut. And doing it up. Now remember, if you continually... Do your drag nut up tight all the time. Like, and what I mean by tight is I mean really tight. You are going to squash the shim down. 
right? So over time, even though your spool might sit, the line might sit properly on your spool when you get it, over time what happens is it can adjust and you need to adjust it even though you never had to adjust it before. So you need to be aware of that. You also need to be aware that this is six pound line and if I went to four pound line or eight pound line or even just a different brand of line, it for some reason can sit different and you'll need to adjust your shims. But that's it guys, it's really that simple. Undo your drag nut, or open your bail, undo your drag nut, pull your spool off, add or remove shims depending on which way you need. If it is too high, you need to add a shim to lift the spool so that it lays lower. If it is too low, you need to remove a shim to drop the spool so that it lays higher. It's that simple. And then you, what you do is you need to get your line off. So you take it out somewhere with a weight on it, give it a good cast, wait until you're fishing to cast it out, but I'd like to test it before then, or wind it off onto a roll or another reel and then wind it back on and just see how it lays. So I'm going to do that now, see how it lays, and guys, that's it. It's a matter of trial and error. You don't know if you need one or two or three until you try it and see how it goes. Hopefully this tip has been helpful, guys. Thanks for watching another video. Please don't forget, if you haven't already, to subscribe and hit the bell icon, like it and share it, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and you can get merchandise, Murray Crab beanies, with the crab only or Murray Crab Fishing hats and stubby holders and head socks and so many other things at our website or by contacting us and asking us about what we have. And guys, the beanies actually make me look half good, which means they must be magic. So do yourself a favor, grab some Murray Crab merch. Also, do yourself a massive favor Get out, have a flick, fish every opportunity, catch in the next one.